Innovating Education Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation. Many parents struggle with the decision to send their children to boarding schools and once there, not all young people enjoy it. We find out more in these reports. First, we go to Switzerland to find out about life in a top-of-the-range school reputed to be producing tomorrow's world leaders. Let's take a look. Here at Aiglon College in Switzerland, the pupils are aged between 9 and 18 and come from 60 different countries around the globe. This is one of the world's most expensive schools, with fees of around 80,000 euros a year. So what do parents get for their money? The advantage here is that because we're in the middle of the countryside, in, on the Alps, we get to make the most of nature here. We get to go out, apply the biology directly to the nature, and that's really fantastic. Hola, buenos días. Hola. Discipline is important, and the school is organized into houses, each one with its own housemaster or mistress. You will get signed in by the prefect on duty, and you're leaving the dining room when you are dismissed. I've been told and I've seen a number of members of the house without correct school uniform. Yeah, school uniform is shirt and jacket, regardless of what the weather is, whether hot or cold, that's expectations. The prefect system is also used. Prefects get their own bedrooms in return for helping to enforce the school rules. Uh, you could say it's strict, yeah. Uh, I definitely think it's strict in a good way. Uh, but at the end of the day, we're here to, to make sure the students do well, uh, both in-house, outside of house, wearing the right uniform, eating the right food, uh, studying, not messing around. At the end, it's our job isn't hard because all the students here, thankfully, are, are great. 10% no, 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 no. of the pupils are at the school thanks to their excellent academic results and the school's scholarship program. I think having scholarship students can be a great motivator for, for everybody else. It, it helps to raise the bar uh, and these people can often become the role models that set the tone. Outside the classroom there are lots of other activities on offer, including canoeing, rock climbing and skiing, as well as painting, music and theatre. Something that I would do as well to start with is I would try and almost summarise what each paragraph is about. So the first paragraph is the pure description. They are motivated, they want to succeed, not just in terms of material wealth, but also in terms of happiness and what they're able to, to give back to society. Are you ready to make mountain? Which one, which mountain was the one but boarding schools obviously provide in local parentis pastoral care as well as education. How does that work out? We went to India to find out. My name is Karan Madan. I'm 13 years old. In India, some children are in boarding schools simply because they live too far away to make the journey every day. Here in Shimla, the Bishop Cotton School for Boys was founded more than 150 years ago. Fees are around 4,000 euros a year. I wake up at 5.30, just sleepy, go just sit in my bed, it's compulsory, and I come up for the morning tea. What we are about to receive, may the Lord make us feel thankful. Amen. There's tea and there's two biscuits. And then we have a roll call. After that, there are games. Then after breakfast, there's a school of 8.45 to 2.15. Vardhan, Mayang? For like two, three months. I felt lonely, but then I found some friends. I have friends here, it's like my family. If I feel homesick, I would go to my friends and just talk talk with them. So I felt I feel good. Wait. 
Most of the boys, they miss their home. So we try to pacify them, see that we are here like your mothers and you are not never alone. Any other problem, not only regarding their studies, but any other problem, we try to even solve that. We get leave from, from school so, some days. We get off from the school routine and go to the mall road, buy things, watch movies, eat late, eat junk food. The school, it teaches a lot of manners. It makes us strong. Studies are also good, but that is the secondary part. It's main for the boarding, like make us punctual, independent. It helps us in life for the future. Boarding schools teach you a lot of things that a day school would not, primarily because your parents are not with you. You're going to bump into other students that you might not like, but you've got to get along with. Um, in a small way, that really prepares you for the larger society that you're going to interact with once you leave school. My last thought is about my family and about the day which is gone, past, and looking for the next day. And how does it work when a day school also accepts borders? That's the case at this school in Bali, which incidentally ranked the greenest in the world in 2012. The green school in Bali has around 400 pupils and a dozen boarders who come from abroad, like Xavier from Canada. Everything is like the buildings, every, like are made out of bamboo, like all materials that you can get from here. And that like the, some, the whiteboards are made out of car windows. So it's like, it's all recycled. The foreign students stay for nine months or more and the school says the aim is to teach them to be ethically sound individuals and responsible community members by living a green lifestyle in sustainable buildings, eating healthy food. I think the environment is the strongest um, impact on the kids. They're coming from environments where they're in concrete and they're coming here and they're surrounded by nature with birds and the bamboo and in the house here where it, pretty much the whole house is made of bamboo and they come and they wake up and they say wow this is like a, a tree house this is like an adventure and they that really brings out the kids in them and that brings out the the learning uh, interest the school has three simple rules. Be local, let your environment be your guide, and envisage how your children will be affected by your actions. All classes are taught with these guidelines in mind. For example, if we're, we're talking about how many times uh, a student might use the bathroom here, and uh, how, how much water uh, is used per flush uh, on average throughout the world, and then realizing through a little bit of math, how much water is saved by our uh, non-flush toilets here, our composting toilets. So uh, that would, gives us, it gives the kids a little bit of an understanding of what it means to be green and connect it to math as well. The school fees here are 12,000 euros a year, plus 12,000 euros for boarding. But parents from all over the world think it's worth it. What I loved is that Every child was asked, what is it that you want to learn on your time here? And on a module of six weeks at a time, they get to choose the subject they want to dedicate more time on during the experiential learning. And he's doing crazy things he would never do in his normal school. They're building the spears and then going fishing and learning how to do it with bamboo from scratch. The hope is that the school will catch people's attention and eventually impact the wider world, their students becoming ambassadors for environmental living. It's important to be in a green environment because we came from nature and it's important to be surrounded by it and to learn in it and just fully dive into it because it's a more natural feeling than being in a concrete building all the time and forcing yourself to learn things. But here it just comes naturally. So now over to you. What are your experiences of boarding schools? 
do get in touch with us via our social media pages. We love hearing from you. Goodbye. Learning World, in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.